leadership. The action of leading a group of people or an organization. The definition is simple. However, the value of leadership goes beyond a simple explanation. You're checking out The Healthy Leader, discussing the different styles and the importance of great leadership. Now here's your host, Michelle Franklin. to come on and do my Healthy Leader podcast. Um, I do have a separate podcast that's called Sunday Mornings where I um, teach as it relates to uh, ministry and the Word of God. And so um, if you guys haven't downloaded that podcast, I really want to encourage you guys to download that podcast to hear a word of encouragement, a word of empowerment um, as it relates to ministry and um, just being all that God has called and commissioned you to be. And so on this morning, I wanted to come on and talk about my health journey um, just let me give you guys a little history of my business, which is called CLS Reflection Academy. Um, C stands for character, L stands for leadership, and S stands for stewardship. When I first set out on the journey to um, establish this business, I knew that if I was going to be a leader, um, in order for me to be a healthy leader, it was going to require me to not only um, uh, work on my character in person, but also be more concerned about my credit report. Um, I wasn't the type of person that will order something or purchase something and not pay for it or have a lot of credit card debt and, you know, um, go out and get cars and um, be so eager to file bankruptcy. I was never that person. I was the person that if I couldn't pay for it, then I would not get it. And so I always pay cash for everything. And so when you pay cash for everything, when you do not establish credit, um, then you have bad credit. And so what I did was I said, okay, um, my credit report is my character on paper. It lets people who don't know me um, have a better understanding of who I am and my spending habits. And it lets them know that they can trust me with their finances. So if I ever wanted to take out a, a loan or a mortgage, you know, it just shows that I'm an integral person on paper. And so a lot of times people think that because we're supposed to be the lender and not the borrower, then we shouldn't establish credit. But I disagree with that. I believe that in order for us to be the um, lender, we have to first be found faithful in our ability to borrow. You know, the Bible says that if you are not faithful over what belongs to another man, why would God give you your own? And so I believe that um, having our own and being able to have the stability and lay the right foundation and build correctly, I believe that that's when God opens up the door for us to really have our own business, have our own um just whatever it is that we seek to have. And so when I set out on this journey um, to focus on being a healthy leader, I had to come to the realization that my credit report mattered. My credit report was so vital to me being a healthy leader. I wasn't just trying to be a leader. I was trying to be a healthy 
leader. And so that's a difference. Sometimes people can be in a leadership position and they have the qualifications as it relates to, um, you know, how to uh, influence people, how to get people on their team, you know, even how to encourage people, but they're not as healthy as they could be in their character. They may be late all the time. Sometimes people take advantage of leadership positions and feel like, hey, I'm the leader, so I don't have to be here on time. Well, if I'm the leader, I'm going to be here on time all the time because I understand that as a leader, I'm the example. I am the example. It's always important that... um, It's so important that we establish what it means to be a healthy leader. And when I set out on this journey to be a healthy leader, I had to start establishing credit. So I started to apply for my first credit card. I started to get credit cards to, you know, build my credit up, make it strong and different things like that. And for the last maybe four to five years, if you look at my credit report, it will show you that um, I have 100% on-time payments. And so um, whenever I feel like, hey, I want to go and do something um, that will impact my credit, I always think about my character and how that will make me look. Like, would I look like a person that's full of integrity, even on paper? And so it's not enough as a leader. It is not enough to be a great person and have great character as a person, you got to make sure that you have great character on paper. And so I said all that to say that I have decided to lose weight. And um, just to give you guys a bit of a history of me, I'm a healthy eater. Um, I'm a vegan. I like to say vegan fish eater. Um, I don't like to say pescatarians because sometimes I've seen people <clears throat> who say that they're pescatarians and they still eat things like eggs and stuff like that. So I am a straight vegan. I do vegan everything. Um, I try not to do processed food. So if I want some vegan cheese, I will probably wait till the weekend um, or I probably won't eat it at all. Um, and fish, I eat fish every once in a while. The fish that I eat is salmon and catfish. And so I'm a very healthy eater. And so when people look at me and they see the weight, <clears throat> they probably assume that this woman is the size that she is because she doesn't take care of her body. And that's just not the case. In 2017, I found out I had to have open heart surgery. And I had to have that surgery because I was actually born with my right artery. It had grown into the wrong spot and they did not find it until 2017. And so I'm like literally a miracle baby. Um, They told me that I, um, the moment I exerted energy when I was born, I should have <clears throat> been taken out. But fortunately, I'm blessed. <laughs> God um, kept me all those years and he's still keeping me. And I had this surgery and um, I had to be placed on prednisone. Prednisone blows you up. I know I keep yarning, y'all. I've been up since three in the morning. But prednisone, it blows you up and you have all of this water weight on you. And so I've gained 45 pounds just on the prednisone, not on junk food, not on fried food. I do not eat fried food. If I want, I'm, I'm a, um, I don't have gluten. I have a gluten intolerance. So if I want fried food, then I have to cook it myself. And that's very rare, you know, and maybe once a month or once every couple months, I may eat something that's fried. I may fry me some shrimp with just a small amount of 
um, shrimp batter that's gluten free or cornmeal and um, you know put it on there and may bake it or if I put it on the stove I may cook it in some walnut oil or avocado oil just a small amount of oil but um, I have to have a taste for the fried stuff because I don't eat fried stuff so I'm a very healthy eater and so um, I've decided to Work out every day, all day. Okay? Now, some of you guys probably thinking, now how's she going to work out every day, all day? Listen, I'm getting on that treadmill, and I'm walking every day, all day. I got these little weights. I'm doing these arm weights, arm exercises. I've been doing everything, and I've purpose in my heart not to go back and not to stop from losing this weight. Everything, if I'm going to create a brand, called the healthy leader i have all of these books on being a healthy leader i have all of this product t-shirts um just a lot of different things that i have in store for you guys that's coming up that that's about healthy leadership if i'm going to talk about being a healthy leader then i have to represent that brand all the way to the fullest and although my eating habits are excellent Although I work and I uh, practice on uh, just being a great person and, you know, leading from a better place and um, speaking to people from a, a better positioning within my heart, I have to make sure that I'm also working out. That is a part of being a healthy leader, making sure that you have the energy. Listen, if I'm going to get up and teach, I cannot have this back fat. Listen, let's pause for a minute because y'all know me. I always have to take a deep breath and pause. So let's take it in. Blow it out, blow it out. <laughs> I've not been on here so long, so that is just seemed like so foreign to me. But I know I always take my deep breaths in. Let's take another breath in. Blow it out. Okay, so I have to be a healthy leader overall. My body has to be a healthy leader, and I cannot have this back fat gas. Okay, oh my God. Listen, if you've ever went out and spoke or not just on this platform where you're speaking, teaching, doing motivational speaking, but honey, child, I'm talking about preach. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I am a preacher, okay? I cannot get away from it. I am a preacher at heart. And when I tell you, Lord Jesus, if you, for all those, all those people out there that are preachers, let me tell y'all something. Listen, if you are a preacher and you're overweight, you know good and well. <laughs> You know good and well that back fat is killing you, okay? <laughs> Listen, do not play with me. Don't try it. Don't try to tell me something different. Don't try to tell me something otherwise, okay? That back fat is killing you, okay? There have been times I had to hold my back in. There have been times I had to hold my stomach in. Listen, I'm tired of wearing a girdle. I want to see what it's like. To walk around with no girdle on. And then, ladies, come on now. Sometimes you want to know what it's like to walk around with no bra on. But, unfortunately, that ain't never going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? Because that just adds to the um to the pain in the back, okay? Your back be on flame. It be on fire. You understand what I'm saying? So, ain't no walking around. Ain't, listen, I don't, I don't, ha if I'd had little doorknobs, I don't know. I don't know if I had little dough knobs, if I'd be walking around here with no bra on. Because the back is a vital part of our body. Alignment is everything. And when that spine, when that spine is not in alignment, when the disc is out of place, when, when you have so much fat on that back, oh my goodness, you be in so much pain. And you don't tell people you just come home. Me, I come home. Some people come home and they may soak in some Epsom salt and stuff like that. But uh, what I also do is I get on the heating pad. And so I'm like, I'm tired of laying on the heating pad every doggone day. After I had the open heart surgery, they told me that my back pain should only last 
for about two years. Some people last longer. Um, it's been since 2017. I can't go into 2021 with this back fat on me. So I so the 45 pounds that I put on, it has to come off. My birthday is in February. We are in December. I I started in the end of November, and when I tell you by my birthday, this 45 pounds need to be gone. Okay, so I want you guys to hold me accountable by my birthday. I want at least 40 pounds. If I can lose all 45. Praise Jesus. But I want the whole 40 pounds gone by my birthday. Okay, that's February. So when February get here, boom, 45 down. And then after the 45, I want to lose about another 40 pounds by the summer. And when I tell you guys I am on this kick because my mind is made up. I am that type of person that once something gets settled in my mind, um, then I go right here on with it. And another thing um, that I do is um, I don't look at the weight that I lose. I look at how I'm feeling. So uh, people will say, well, how much weight have you lost? I'm not sure. I can tell you where I started at, but I can't tell you where I'm at today. And the reason why I can't tell you is because I'm not checking for the weight loss. I'm looking to be healthy. I'm looking to feel great. And so um, what I'm doing is looking at how working out and moving around as much as I need to work, move around, how does it affect my body? If I feel great, then I'm going to continue to go on. It's just like the food. There was some food that, although I was a healthy eater, there was some things that, like gluten, I've never been diagnosed with celiac disease, but the reason I don't eat gluten is because I pay attention to my body, and I didn't like how the gluten made my body feel. I didn't like the bloating. I didn't like my stomach being all of bloating all the way up, and, you know, it makes the back pain even worse. Why? Because you got so much fat on the back, you know? So I didn't like any of that. So I checked my body and I started noticing how my body, you know, what was happening to my body, what was going on with my body after I ate certain things. And so that's what I'm doing with the walking and with the weight. I'm looking at how this... How the exercise is affecting my body. And if the exercise is affecting my body in a great way, then I'm going to continue to go go on. And that's what I've been doing. Um, I realized yesterday, I said, I'm going to take a break. I'm not going to get on a um, treadmill. But I couldn't. I had to keep going. It's just something in me right now that's like I have the energy. Don't let it die down. Don't let the momentum die down. Continue to get up and walk on that treadmill seven days a week. Do the weights. Come in the room. Do your arm exercise. While you have the momentum, keep it going. And that's the same way when it comes to just being a healthy leader. You know, as a leader, you have to recognize the momentum that that's even among your team, that's even among yourself, and you have to be from that and you have to keep going from that and so um going into 2021 when we talk about being a healthy leader we have to be concerned with the health and the overall well-being of our mind body and soul and so it's not just about being a great person it's not just about being able to build businesses and lead people uh from a marketplace perspective in the area of customer service and you know how to establish a business how to establish a business plan how to run a business is not just about that you know what I'm saying it's also about your mind making sure that your mind is in a um, healthy place in the month of December I've been resting you know for the first time this year I've actually sat down and enjoyed a tv show without writing a book because I'm always writing so I have a new book that's um, actually coming out is it's completed it, it is completed the publisher sent me the information yesterday it's completed we talk about the healthy leader this newest book that I have coming out is called the healthy leader is part two to the healthy leader and so I'm excited about that I'm really excited about that. But um, again, as it relates to being a healthy leader, we have to make sure that we are putting the right, not only information into our bodies, information into our minds so that we can be a better person. But we have to make sure that we are putting the right food in our body and that we are doing the proper exercises and getting the 
proper amount of movement going so that we can be an overall healthy leader. And so this is the last, the last, the last. Whew. This is the last. Oh my God, this is the last, the last, the last. This is like the last thing that I have to do to seal this whole healthy journey, okay? So when you guys meet me, when you guys hear from me, everything is going to be about being healthy. My mind is healthy. My mind is at a place of peace. Um, I eat right. I move around. I lost the weight. I work out daily. My credit score is great because I'm building my credit report. Everything is going to be about being healthy in your mind, in your body, and in your soul. So I just wanted to come on here to really not only encourage you guys, but to hold me accountable. Listen, those of you guys that listen to my podcast, those of you guys out there that know me, know me, listen, challenge me, guys. Challenge me, hold me accountable, you know, um, check in with me, leave me questions and comments, you know, asking me, listen, how is everything going with your weight? Did you stop working out? If I stop working out, I'm just going to give up altogether. You know what I'm saying? That's how you feel at times, if I can be real with you. But this time, I'm done. When I say, R. Kelly said, when a woman's fed up, baby, ain't nothing you can do about it. And when I tell you I am so fed up with all of this fat on my back, all of this fat on the abdomen, it has to go. I need to see the abdomen, okay? I don't even know if that's how you say it. But my abs, I need to see them. I've never seen my abs, guys. Okay? Do you understand this? It's been years. Yeah. It's been years. It's been years since I've been able to look straight down and see my feet. Without seeing my stomach first. Yeah. If you, let me tell y'all something. If you can look straight down, praise Jesus. But if you look down at your feet. And before you see your feet, you see your stomach, and you got to go over your stomach a, a little bit more just to see your feet. Yeah, uh-huh, it's time to get healthy. It's time for us to get healthy. We just can't do it no more. Ooh, Jesus, we can't do it no more. Okay, okay, okay. So, that's all I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about. I pray that you guys have an awesome Monday. Listen, I have a course coming up called the Life and Recovery Coach Program. That program is on sale. You guys can go to my website at www.theclsacademy.com. You guys can call me at 708-821-5867 if you would like more information about that course or if you would like to sign up for that course. That course is 50% off. That course is accredited and it will be 50% off um, up until January. Um, I also have other courses on my website where you can actually get two for one. Go on my website site check out the services that i provide i also provide notary services and so if you have anything that you need notarized um um contact me you know let me know you know if you're into real estate you know and you need a notary call me you know if you're if you have a title company and you need a notary call me you know if you just have some personal items that you need notarized call me you know um i can um assist you in the area of notarization um but you can purchase my books. You can purchase products. I have products on it that you guys can purchase. But go on my website, again, that's um, academy.com. Go on there, check it out. You know, um, contact me if you're inter interested in mentorship, if you're interested in my coaching services. I even do counseling, you know, for anybody that's dealing with um, mental struggles. I do counseling um, in that particular area as well. And so I love you guys. I pray that you guys <clears throat> not just have an awesome Monday, but I pray that you guys have an awesome week. And I will chime in with you guys hopefully on tomorrow. Hopefully on tomorrow, I will get back on with you guys and we can talk about something else. Um, you can also drop me some subjects if you want me to hit on as it relates to what it means to be healthy and what it means to be a healthy leader. And so take this journey with me, guys. I love you and you guys enjoy the rest of your day.